I'm Cassandra Belinsky for Investment Pitch Media. Endurance Gold Corporation has released initial assay results from its reverse circulation drill program at its Reliance Gold property in southern British Columbia. With year-round road access, the Reliance Gold property is located 4 kilometres east of the village of Gold Bridge and 10 kilometres north of the historic Bralorn Pioneer Gold Mining Camp, which has also produced more than 4 million ounces of gold. The planned 35-hole RC drill program is now complete. Gold assay results from the first five holes have identified a new high-grade gold discovery at the Diplomat Zone and have also demonstrated that the treasure shear is a gold mineralized structure. Both discoveries significantly open up new exploration potential on the property. The Diplomat Zone, located 170 metres northwest of the Imperial Zone and 625 metres northwest of the Eagle Zone, is situated in the foot wall of the Royal Shear. Its potential was initially identified in the company's 2020 geological mapping and soil sampling program. The Treasure Prospect is located 465 metres northwest of the Imperial Zone and 875 metres northwest of the Eagle Zone where a portion of the Treasure Shear is exposed in a road cut. The Treasure Shear, a northeast-southwest trending geographic linear feature located parallel to and about 300 metres east of the Royal Shear, is interpreted as the footwall bounding structure for the Royal Shear Complex, a deep-seated regional structure. Nine holes have been completed at Diplomat with results received on five RC holes. Highlight gold assay results from hole RC21024 include 16.39 grams per tonne gold over 4.57 metres commencing at 71.63 metres down hole associated with a quartz pyrite and arsino pyrite vein stockwork zone. Other intersections at Diplomat include 2.64 grams per ton gold over 9.14 meters starting at just 1.52 meters below surface, 2.56 grams per ton gold over 7.62 meters starting at 6.10 meters, 2.62 grams per ton gold over 6.10 meters starting at 51.82 meters, and 6.34 grams per ton gold over 1.52 meters from 38.10 meters in RC21024, which also host the high-grade gold intersection. True widths are estimated to be approximately 80% of the reported drill intersections. Three RC holes tested the treasure prospect with gold results reported on the first hole, RC21021, which intersected 1.6 grams per tonne gold over 6.1 meters starting at 35.05 meters down hole. This intersection confirms that the treasure shear has potential to host wide zones elevated in gold similar to the royal shear and provides largely untested strike potential of an estimated 2 kilometers. Portable X-ray fluorescence of the RC reference samples identified significantly enriched arsenic in 22 of the 35 RC drill holes completed. Although arsenic enriched zones have been previously identified on the treasure prospect, the diplomat zone and in step out drilling at the Eagle Zone, this is the first identification of elevated arsenic at the Crown Zone located between the Eagle and Imperial Zones and an additional RC hole completed recently at the Imperial Zone. For more details on the widest and strongest arsenic mineralized intervals identified, please refer to today's news release. Robert Boyd, Endurance Gold's President and CEO, has joined us today to give a few more comments on this news. Welcome, Robert. Hello all. Thank you, Cassandra. The important thing that we have uh, in our news release today is we've got an, a, a fantastic new intersection of 16.39 grams per ton over 4.6 meters. So what that's doing is opening up a whole new zone and extending our uh, district now. So together with the treasure zone and diplomat zone and the eagle zone that we discovered last year, and the historic imperial zone, we've got over 850 meters of strike now where we're getting drill intersections in bedrock indicating a pretty substantial gold system developing here over this, this trend. Uh, that, uh, and this is uh, the release this morning is just five holes uh, that we've uh, released. And we've got another 29 holes from our RC drilling program that we'll be releasing over the next uh, uh, month or month or two months, depending on the uh, the lab turnaround time. So we look forward to uh, a really exciting uh, year ahead. 
as we move and transition into the diamond drilling uh, phase of our program uh, and wait uh, for the, the results from our IP geophysics and uh, multiple phases of diamond drilling that are gonna be coming up uh, in the future of this project. Thank you very much. Over to you, Cassandra. Some of the proposed RC holes have been deferred to a diamond drilling campaign later in the season due to water inflow problems, which may impact RC sample quality and the presence of intrusive dikes, which will need to be better constrained with diamond drilling. A total of 758 RC samples from 29 remaining holes have been submitted for gold assay and multi-element ICP analysis, with the results reported when received. The company has a number of other highly prospective North American mineral properties which management considers to have the potential to develop world-class deposits. The shares are trading at 35.5 cents. For more information, please visit the company's website, endurancegold.com. Contact Robert T. Boyd, President and CEO at 604-682-2707 or by email at info at endurancegold.com. I'm Cassandra Belinsky for Investment Pitch Media.